Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm Mike. I'm your narrator for this fateful one to two minute tale of Billy at the restaurant. Let's begin. Billy was at a mid-scale restaurant. It was nice, you know, nothing too fancy. That is to say, a climate controlled building where you just sit there, and people make food for you using ingredients from all over the world. Spices most people throughout history never even dreamed of. Food more complex than the pharaohs ate, probably. Billy here didn't have to farm. Billy didn't have to raise and then murder some chicken. Billy didn't have to invent a recipe and perfect it over the years. Billy just had to show up and say, table for two, please. Chicken fried rice or whatever, please. Billy liked things clean. Sure, who doesn't? But he thought about germs, like, a lot. Too much. Right now, here in this mid-scale restaurant, he was looking at the plate and thinking, dang, I wonder how many people have eaten off of this plate. How many people have put this exact same fork into their mouths? He was starting to get grossed out. In fact, Billy was damn near losing his appetite even though most people throughout human history ate off of rocks with dirty little fingers and they were grateful. Even as recent as the Wild West, a beautifully prepared garnished meal like this brought to someone on a porcelain plate with perfectly crafted eating utensils would have been a cherished memory for the rest of their lives. Billy didn't need to learn metalwork. He didn't need to learn to smelt ore and mold steel into the complex, magnificent shape that is the modern fork. Billy wasn't totally sure he even knew what porcelain was made of. Some kind of glass or something? Clay? How do they even make glass? Google it, Billy! Stop moping around and focusing on all the wrong stuff all the time and cherish every moment, Billy! We're all hanging on by a thread between life and death. I mean, you don't deserve anything, Mike. I mean, Billy. Moron. The end. Buttery credits like a dinner roll up that screen for you. It's a table for two, for one. For one life is all we have, ladies and germs. Hey germs, I'll think of you and it's the thing to do. Then tell them why don't you and me just keep it fun. <laughs>